Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard on Jira project management system. So for those who don't know, basically Jira is a project management platform that allows you to manage your project just like Notions, Monday.com, etc. So with Jira, you'll be able to do a lot of things and some of them is creating a project manager on and you can also take notes on some issues that may arise when you are doing your project. You can always put a label on it and then keep track on how your project goes with Jira. So here I have a test project that I'm going to use to show to you how Jira works. So as you can see, I have the project name right here it says new product launch and then i also have a board that shows me all of the steps that i'm doing on this project from the one that i haven't started yet the one that i've planned the one that is in progress the one that is ready for review the one that is in review the one that's approved done and the performance of the task that i'm doing so when I created this board right here, what I did was that after I created my account, I fill in some of the details so that Jira will try to find the perfect templates for me and these are the templates that I got. And on the templates, I got this board with the titles and then these cards right here are the one that I fill in by myself. So you can add the list of the things that you will want to do with your project and put it to the suitable board. So for example, here I got contact vendor card as one of the not started yet task. And let's say that I have started doing it and now I'm on the planning level of my task. All I have to do is click on this card, bring it all the way to the planning board. And now I got the contact vendor task on the planning board. And it's going to make it easier for me to keep track on what I'm trying to do, what I need to do and what I have done, which part of the project should I pay attention to because if you can see on the cards bottom right corner, you'll be able to see some symbols. And if you hover your clickers on top of it, you'll be able to find a text popping up. This one says medium, this one says low, this one says highest. And what it means is that it shows the priority level of the task that are written on that card. Besides adding cards in order to track your project, you can also click on list if you prefer to take a look at your task in this forms right here. And then you can take a look at the status, the category, the assignee, the due date, the priority, the labels, the date it's created and many more. Or if you prefer calendar view, you can also Click on calendar and maybe you want to mark some important date. Let's say you have some important meetings or stuff like that. You can put it on your calendar by clicking on the date you will want to put or assign a task into and then you can just type in on what you need. Let's say that on this date I will be having, let's say, update meeting. And then I can also change whether I want to change these types from task to other things. I'm just going to leave it as task for now. Then I'm just going to go ahead and click on create. And now I got my task created on the date on where it's supposed to take place to. You can also take a look at the timeline of your project and see how far has it goes and whether it actually falls between the timelines that you've set for this project or not. Now, in order to create a dashboard, you're going to want to go to this dashboard options right here on top of your screen. You're going to want to click it, and then you're going to want to click create a dashboard. Through here, you 
needs to fill in a detail such as the dashboard name let's say I'm going to name it exactly like my project so it's going to be new project launch and the description I'm just going to leave it as blank you can totally put whatever descriptions you want that are going to help you to maybe remember this dashboard in case you're going to have more than just one project in Jira but if you're good with just a blank space you can just go ahead and do that and with the Jira you can actually invite your team so that everyone will know how the project is going and which tasks are actually assigned to which person so if you would like to create a dashboard that you will be able to show to your team you can just go ahead and change the viewers options into let's say group or maybe to user or to my organizations or to project you can choose on whichever the one is the most suitable for you let's say that i'm just going to go with private for now and you can also choose on the editors of this dashboard so let's say that you want the editors for this dashboard to be only a person that is involved in the project or maybe you want to select specific group or maybe select specific user again because i'm just going to use private for the sake of this video i'm just going to go ahead and do that and then once it's done you're going to want to click on the templates that are the most suitable to make it easier for you to keep track on your project so if you take a look at the right side of the screen, you'll be able to see at a gadget options. And here are the things that you actually will want to put into your dashboard. So instead of going through all of the gadget that Jira has, I'm just going to go to the chart sections right here. And here you're going to be able to see a lot type of chart. And you can just choose whichever it is you want according to your preference. Let's say for me, I prefer this pie charts right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add this into my dashboard. And then before Jira is going to be able to show the pie chart, obviously we're going to want to connect the database into the pie chart that I'm going to be shown on our dashboard so i'm going to type in the name of the project which is this one new product launch and for the statistic type i can actually choose on what kind of statistic i would like to see whether i want to see the assignee the category change reason change risk change type components creator epic link epic status fix for version etc etc let's say that i want to create a chart for priority and then you can also choose whether you want to add auto refresh or not i'm just going to leave it as it is so i'm going to go ahead and click on save and here it's going to make it easier for me to take a look at the priority of the project instead of if i am just taking a look at the board earlier because on the board there will be multiple tasks that are shown and yes on each card you can actually see the priority level but if you would like to see the bigger pictures and actually take a look on the overall project i think creating a chart is going to make it easier because here the chart has already compiled all of the task card on my dashboard and it shows me the amount of card that has the medium priority level, high priority level, highest priority level or low priority level. And if I click on each level, I'll be able to see all of the cards that are labeled with that priority level. And I feel like it's very very helpful instead of just seeing at the cards one by one now obviously you can also create a chart with just other categories so my charts were made with the 
priority level as its base data. Let's say that you want to create another charge. Let's say you wanted to know when a task is created and when it was resolved, just so that you know the overall performance of your team because you know that sometimes you'll have to keep in track on which person is actually able to keep in track with their deadline and which person doesn't. I think having this kind of chart is going to be helpful and you can also learn on what kind of turbulence actually happens along the way because usually when a task was being postponed or maybe if a task does not able to be completed on the desired date it means that there are some issues and you will have to take a look on the issues that is going on with the task so again i'm just going to use the new product launch as my database and for the period let's say i want it to be daily and i'm just going to leave it as days previously so you can actually create it according to your needs let's say you just want to see the task that was being created and then resolve at the same week or maybe you want to take a look at the whole data for a month you can just go ahead and type in the amount of days that you will want to collect your data from and then for the collection operation i'm just going to go ahead and use count And I'm going to take on the auto refresh and then go ahead and click on save. And there you go. Since I just created this test project recently, it only shows me this long line right here. But if let's say that you created your task on 14th of March and then it's done on 11th of April, obviously this line is going to follow on the timelines below. And you can add more than just two charts if you want. Or you can also just add a wall board if you want. You can just add whatever it is that you feel are going to be very helpful and representative to your project. And you can also play around with how the charts look. You can configure on the highlight colors just to make it more fun and just make sure that if you ever created an update on your project board and let's say that you forgot to turn on the automatic refresh you can just go ahead and click on the symbols right here and refresh on your data and see on how it goes and that's basically it that is how you can create a dashboard on jira software it is very easy you can just customize it according to your needs i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day